core image lets us generate a QR code from any input string and do so extremely quickly. However, there's a small problem. The image it generates is very small. It's only as big as a pixels required to show its data. Now it's trivial to make the QR code larger, but to make it look good, we also have to adjust SwiftUI's image interpolation. So in this step, we're going to ask the user to enter their name and email address into a form, use those two pieces of information to make a QR code identifying them, and then scale up the code without making it fuzzy. Now I already have a simple me view struct we made as a placeholder earlier on. So our first job will be to add a couple of text fields and their string bindings here. First, let's add some new pieces of state to hold a name and email address. We can say at app storage name, private var name is anonymous. And then at app storage, email address, private var email address, we'll do uh, you at your site.com. Now, when it comes to the body of this view, we're gonna use two text fields with large fonts, but this time we're gonna attach a small but useful modifier to these text fields called text content type. And it tells iOS what kind of information we're asking the user for. And this should allow iOS to provide autocomplete data on behalf of the user, which makes the app nicer to use. So you want to replace your current body code with this. There's a navigation stack. Inside there's a form with a text field prompting for a name. And a text for that bound to our name uh, storage. Again, we'll do a text content type of name. So on a real device, it'll prompt them with their own contact name automatically. And I use a font of title that's bigger on the screen. Then we'll say there's another one called email address or text field, uh, email address like that with text bound to dollar email address. Again, a text content type, uh, type please, there we go, of email address. Again, autocompletes nicely with a font of title. And then, just on our form here, we'll attach a navigation title of your code. This is their personal QR code. Now, we're gonna use the name and email address fields to generate a QR code, which is a square collection of black and white pixels that can be scanned by phones and other devices. Now, Core Image has a filter in place just for this built-in. As you learned how to use Core Image filters previously, you'll find this very, very similar. First, we gotta bring in all the core image filters using a new input import. We'll say here, import core image dot CI filter built-ins. Second, we're gonna add two properties to store an active core image context and an instance of core images QR code generator filter. So we're gonna add two new properties here in our me view. We'll say let context be a new CI context and our filter is cifilter.qrcodegenerator. And now for the interesting part, making the QR code itself. Now if you remember, working with core image filters requires to provide some kind of input data, then convert the output uh, CI image into a CG image, then that CG image to a UI image. And we'll be following exactly the same steps here, except this time our input for the filter will be a string but the input for the filter is data. So we'll convert that by hand first. If our conversion fails for any reason, we're gonna send back a default symbol, xmark.circle, an SF symbol sort of like no kind of image. And if that can't be read, which of course is theoretically possible, because SF symbols is, is stringly typed, we'll just send back an empty UI image. And so add a new method to our me view struct down here. We'll call this thing generate QR code from string, a string, and it'll return a UI image, the thing that's actually made from core image. So first things first, we'll set our message uh, on the filter, the thing we'll store inside our QR code, to be the data form of our string.utf8. Whatever will be passed in right now, make it a data and send it on in. And then we'll try and read our data. We'll say, if let output image is our filter's output image, then if let CG image uh, is our context create CG image, 
Uh, now remember we want, we want to have here the extra from value. So we'll say convert that from our output image with output image dot extent. So convert the whole uh, image to our CG image here. If we can read that, then we'll send back a UI image with CG image, our CG image like so. So if we can read the output and load it correctly, send it back. If we're still here after the two if let, it means it's failed for some of those reasons, we'll simply do return uh, UI image with system name of xmark.circle. But if that fails, which it might do, we'll send back an empty UI image. Now, of course, in practice, that won't fail. We've hand typed it, I think it's fine, but you've got to make the Swift compiler happy. Now, isolating all this functionality in a method works really well in SwiftUI because it means the code we put in our body property stays as simple as possible. In fact, we can just use image, UI image as initializer directly with a call to generate QR code and then scale up to a sensible size on screen. SwiftUI will make sure the method's called whenever name or email address changes. Now, in terms of a string to pass into generate QR code, we're going to be using the name and email address entered by the user, separated by a line break. This is a nice and simple format. It's easy to reverse when it comes to scanning these codes later on. And so we'll add a new image to our form directly below the second image uh, text field here. We're going to say is an image with a UI image inside, and that will be our generate QR code from. Again, we're going to pass in our name, then a line break, then the email address, like so. We'll make it resizable, so it's nice and big. We'll make it scale to fit, so it stays square, and then give a frame of width 200 and height 200, like that. Run the code now. Just quickly run the code now. You'll see it works at least fairly well. There's our QR code. I change it here. My name is uh, Paul Hudson, for example, or Paul at hacking with Swift, whatever, dot com. It all works nicely. Um, the QR code is changing dynamically. However, look closely at the QR code. You can see it's fuzzy. This is because Quartimage Image is making a tiny, tiny image for us, and SwiftUI is scaling up and trying to smooth out the pixels as it's being scaled. Now, line art like QR codes and barcodes is a great candidate for disabling image interpolation. In this case, we can simply say this image here has interpolation none. Do not blend out the pixels. And now the QR code is going to be lovely and sharp like you'd expect because SwiftUI simply repeats pixels rather than trying to blend them together neatly. Honestly, I don't think cameras most of the time imagine they care which one gets used, but it looks better to users.